So our first problem says here, two charges 10 microcoulomb and minus 10 microcoulomb are placed at a point A and B separated by a distance of 10 centimeters. So let's draw here. Here we have 10 microcoulomb and here we have minus 10 microcoulomb. Both are separated by distance. Let's say this is point any point A, this is point B and both are separated here by a distance of 10 centimeters. So this gap, let's assume this is 10 centimeter. Great. Find the electric field at a point P on the perpendicular bisector of AB. Perpendicular bisector means equatorial plane. So perpendicular bisector here, let's take a point P and let's assume that this is perpendicular and it is bisecting. Bisecting means this will be 5 centimeter and this will be also 5 centimeter. Great. So we have to find electric field. Okay. And this P point is at a distance of 12 centimeter as per the question. Okay. So AB at a distance of 12 centimeter from its midpoint, right? We have to find the electric field. So if you remember electric field due to a positive charge is radially outward, right? And electric field due to a negative charge radially inward. So let's draw here electric field due to the charge at A, which is 10 microcoulomb will be radially outward along the line joining the charge and the point P. So let me draw here. An electric field at point P due to the negative charge B will be along the line joining. So it will be in this direction. Correct? Great. So this is our electric field EA and this is our EB. Now we have two vectors. One is EA in this direction, right? And we have EB in this direction. Where will be the resultant? We know from 11 standard. If we have two vectors like this, then the resultant of such a pair of vector will be along this line and this will be our net electric field. Now we can figure out this by using components. So we can find the component of E A. What will be E A component? It will be E A cos theta here and E B that also EB where theta will be this angle. We have to figure out this angle. So we will find this angle and here also it is theta. So what will be EB? It will be EB cos theta in this direction. Correct? What will be the component of EA in this direction? It will be EA sin theta and here it will be EB sin theta. I hope this is clear. Okay, so let's solve this using component wise. First of all, uh, let's figure out our E net. Okay, so E net here will be E A cos theta plus E B sin theta. And what will be, this is along x axis. What will be our net electric field along y axis? So E net I am writing here along y axis that will be y will be E A sin theta upward you can see while eb sin theta is downward so it will be minus eb sin theta let me make some changes here it is cos theta eb cos theta my mistake okay great so we have electric field e net okay along x axis is both cos theta and along y axis ea sin theta minus eb sin theta let's figure out what is ea eb cos theta sin theta correct so first of all let's figure out what is ea EA electric field due to the charge at A will be K. K is 9 into 10 to the power 9. Charge Q which is present at A whole divided by what's the separation? AP square. And electric field at B electric field due to B will be K Q B upon BP square. Correct. Now what is our AP and BP? Let's figure it out now. So AP and BP, if you look at the triangle, let's make it as O. Okay. So from the triangle AOP, if you use Pythagoras theorem, AP square will be equals to how much? It will be PO square plus AO square. And you can see this is a trio. This is 5 centimeter AO. PO is 12 centimeter. So AP will be 13 centimeter. You can solve using Pythagoras theorem. You will get this 13 centimeter. If this is 5, 5 square is 25, 12 square is 144 and when you add both of them, you will get 169 whose root is 13. So AP we got as 13. Let's substitute here. 
सो दिस विल बी नाइन इंटू टेन टू दि पावर नाइन चार्ज एट ए चार्ज एट ए इज टेन माइक्रोकुलम टेन इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स माइक्रो इज टेन टू पावर माइनस सिक्स होल डिवाइडेड बाई ए पी ए पी इज थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर सो थर्टीन इंटू थर्टीन एंड सेंटीमीटर इज सो टेन टू द पावर माइनस फोर इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू मीटर सिमिलरली इफ यू पुट द वैल्यूज हियर के इज अगेन नाइन इंटू टेन टू द पावर नाइन चार्ज एट बी विल बी अवर चार्ज एट बी इज टेन सो टेन इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स लेट मी रिमाइंड यू वंस अगेन वी डोंट टेक द नेगेटिव साइन सिंस इट इज नेगेटिव अवर डायरेक्शन ऑफ एरो इज डाउनवर्ड इफ इट वॉज पॉजिटिव द एरो विल बी डिफरेंट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंसिडर्ड द नेगेटिव साइन इन द एरो राइट होल डिवाइडेड बाई वट इज बी पी अगेन इफ यू टेक द ट्राइंगल पी ओ बी बी पी इज नथिंग बट थर्टीन यू विल गेट थर्टीन सो थर्टीन इंटू थर्टीन इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस फोर करेक्ट नाउ लुक एट ई ए एंड ई बी मैग्नीट्यूड वाइज ई ए इज इक्वल्स टू ई बी सो इफ ई ए इज इक्वल्स टू ई बी वट विल बी द नेट फील्ड अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस इट विल बी जीरो वाई जीरो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस नेगेटिव साइन बोथ आर कैंसलिंग आउट करेक्ट ई ए एंड ई बी गॉट नेगेटिव while in case of x axis if you look at this first equation over here okay what can we find that the electric field adds up so what we will do let me scroll up and let's find the net electric field along x axis so net electric field along x axis will be ea cos theta plus ea cos theta because eb and ea both are same so ea cos theta Now let's take uh, make it as two E A cos theta because one apple plus one apple two apples E A cos theta take it as apple. Now this becomes two into what is E A? E A is nothing but nine into ten to the power nine into ten to ten into ten to the power minus six whole divided by let me scroll a little thirteen into thirteen one sixty nine into ten to the power minus four. What about cos theta? Let's go back to our triangle. so cos theta here will be angle theta this one why because we have assumed this angle as theta so these are corresponding angles so if this is theta this is also theta why because uh, angle opposite to equal sides are equal so even this is theta alternate angle right so that you can justify from this diagram as well so these two theta theta will be base upon hypotenuse right so cos theta will be base what is base base is ao upon hypotenuse which is ap what is ao 5 cm and ap 13 so let's substitute this value of cos theta over here and find our final result so our final result will be here 29 18 16 upon 169 into let's simplify the powers 10 to the power 9 and uh, 10 10 minus 6 is 4 10 to the power 4 and this 10 to the power 4 goes up so it will make it 10 to the power 8 let's keep it 4 for the timing and what is cos theta here Let's substitute cos theta as five by thirteen. So let's make it here as five by thirteen. So this will give us eighteen uh, into five, which is equals to ninety upon one sixty nine into thirteen. One sixty nine into thirteen will give us two one nine seven into ten to the power eight. Now if I divide ninety with two one nine seven, let's see how much we get. So we get nearly. Forty zero point actually we will get, but we will uh, take the powers and make it as four into four point one into ten to the power six. And what's the unit of electric field? Unit of electric field is newtons per coulomb. So this is our result for the first question. Okay, I hope this is clear.